Hey traders, Akil here with Tier 1 Trading and welcome back to another video. In my last video, we took a look at the technicals. I showed you guys some charts and uh, a few opportunities that were on my radar for the week ahead, uh, playing out pretty well, I might add. Today, we're gonna discuss the other side of trading, and that's the mental side. We're gonna talk about trading psychology. And I'm gonna share with you uh, a lesson that I taught this week in my live trading room where we were talking about fear and gaining confidence and well, I'm even going to share with you some very personal and some very important words from an older trading plan of mine. So make sure you watch it until the very end. Now, if you're not into that type of stuff, uh, feel free to skip past this video. There are about 500 other videos on this channel that you can watch. But if you're a newer trader, right, although we're not looking at charts, this is still very, very important as trading psychology is by far the biggest obstacle, right, the biggest hurdle keeping traders from finding success and, well, keeping traders from failing as well. So very, very, very important stuff. Also, if you haven't done so already, make sure you head over to tier1trading.com and sign up. That way you can be kept in the loop about the new programs that Jason Greystone and myself have coming in 2018. Uh, trust me, it's going to be big. Educational services, coaching services, supportive services, a community environment. It's going to be uh, something that you've never seen before. So make sure you're in the loop. So far, the buzz has been tremendous. So I appreciate you guys supporting us, including right, including some support from a few professional athletes. And even this morning, uh, a celebrity in the music industry uh, reached out and said, hey, Akil, I support what you guys are doing and I, I can't wait to become involved. So I'm excited. I'm happy. Um, I wish I could tell you more, but you got to wait a little bit longer. But uh, early January, early January, it'll be here. So enough with that. I hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll probably see you uh, in a few days with a year ending Q&A that I want to share with you guys. Probably not. Right. So there's going to be again, there's always going to be there's always going to be a higher level of structure. So we can't just keep pushing stops back and back and back and back to avoid structure. That's just that's another fear thing. And that's another thing that will sabotage our trading. Right. So the one adjustment I would I would make. Right. You are above your X leg. Obviously, you are above this other recent level of structure looking left right here. I would get above the 134 even handle. I would get above this psychological number. You can afford to do so. You're still going to have a, a risk reward that makes sense. I would get above that psychological number. I'd rather be right above the 134 even handle than right below. That's the one technical adjustment that I would make. But aside from that, I'm glad you admit it. It was fear. You just have to trust your plan. Trust yourself. I, I put a post on uh, social media this morning. It, it was the same... Um, kind of addressing the same concept. Let me see if I can find uh, the deal here. It was on my uh, my Twitter and my Facebook and my Instagram. Um, right? If you don't follow me on Instagram, I'm an awesome follow if I, if I do say so myself. Um, it's my little, my little buddy. It took him, took him grocery shopping with me yesterday. He did a great job. Aside from skinning the skin in my ankles, right? Pushing his cart, did a great job. Um, but here's a cool thing I put this morning, right? It's a, a, I try to put motivational pictures up while shamelessly promoting my website. Um, but it says, our perception of ourselves is a vital component of our trading performance too. And I did a little post about this, about confidence and how one of the main things I struggled with as a struggling trader was confidence, right? I didn't, I didn't believe that I was a good trader. And there's, there's many reasons for that. When I, I didn't have a, a formal education in trading. And when you hear about traders, you know, you hear about going to Ivy League schools and, and working on Wall Street and, and taking all these courses and, and being certified. And I didn't do any of that. So I'm like, well, can I really be a good trader? Um, and I refused to have any confidence, right? People, a good examples, people would ask, hey, Akil, what are you doing? I said, ah, you know, I'm doing, you know, trading thing Right. I'd, I'd curl up into a little ball and I, I couldn't give him a confident answer. Right. You know, you know how it is when someone asks you a question and, and you're kind of embarrassed to give the answer. It was one of those things every time I was embarrassed to be a trader. And it wasn't until one day I decided that, hey, I'm just going to have full blown confidence in what I do. 
I was going to work on my, my six second elevator pitch, um, meaning what you tell people when they ask you what you do. And I was going to give them a very confident answer. And I'm going to be, you know, I'm going to tell myself and, and that I'm a good trader. And I started using those positive affirmations about how, you know, I am a good trader. I deserve success. You know, I will follow my rules, all that fun stuff where you're the Tony Robbins stuff where you're looking in the mirror and you're repeating it, you know, 50 times to yourself each day. And the more confident I got in just myself, the more confident I became on the charts, the more that that fear and, 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 and whatnot went away. Um, so try doing that. Try giving yourself those positive affirmations. Try, you know, before each trading day, putting it in your trading plan. Right? I, I had 10 of them in my trading plan where you wake up in the morning, you say, hey, I am a good trader. I deserve success because I've put in the work necessary. I will take all good trades a day. I will not let fear um, cause uh, allow me to sabotage my trading. Right. Try it. It works. It works because we all know the, the cycle, right? Belief, action, results. The more you believe in yourself, right? The more, more likely you are to take the correct actions. And the more likely you are to take the correct actions, the more likely you are to get the results that you desire. And once you start taking those, uh, getting those results that you desire, you start believing in yourself a little bit more and it's contagious, right? But you got to get the snowball rolling, right? The little thought, the little confidence, right? Little confidence thought is that little snowball at the top of the hill, right? Your job is you gotta, you just gotta give it a little push, give it a little shove down that hill. And I promise you, right, if you're doing things the right way, if you're putting yourself in the right position to succeed, if you're surrounding yourself with the right people to help you find success and, and, and keep positivity in, in your life instead of telling you how stupid you are for following your dream, right? That snowball is gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger. And once it starts gaining momentum, ooh, baby, it can't be stopped. Ooh, baby, it can't be stopped. I promise you. Look how confident I am. Trust me, I, I come from the same place as you guys. I, I, I was embarrassed. I was embarrassed to tell people what I did. Trust me, I, I feel you. And that same shame, that same embarrassment, the, the lack of confidence showed up on the charts. I, I was I was I was scared. Very similar to a professional athlete, right? A lot of professional athletes get a bad rap because they're they're overconfident. And people think they're arrogant. No, they they tell themselves what they need to tell themselves to get the job done. I've had plenty of games growing up, right, where I didn't think I was as good as my opponent. Right. I, I played AAU basketball with some some people that went on to go to the NBA and we knew these people were going to the NBA. And I'd be on the court like, oh, well, there's no way I'm as good as him. And I would I would suck it up because I already lost the battle before it even started. I already lost before the, the before, before the opening tip. I already lost because I already told myself I don't deserve to be here with these people. Got to make that mindset change. Yeah, I, I wrote it all down. I, it was, um, I actually, did you, did you guys see the picture I did the other day? Um, and this is, again, if you, if you don't shamelessly follow me on social media, you, you got to shamelessly follow me, guys. I'm sure it's just, just do it. But I did a, I'll show you what my, this was my old trading desk. This popped up on my Facebook feed. You know, it was like six years ago or whatever. This was my old trading desk, right? You guys see, right? I had a, a nice double monitor set up and you can see the stuff on the background, right? That's my trading plan, right? Can you, I hope you guys can see it. I know it's not blown up a lot. That's, that's my trading plan, guys. And in my trading plan, this was, this was an updated version of this is when I actually started seeing success, but... I would read through. I wonder if I can find it here. I, I hope I can find this for you. I haven't done this in a while. So uh, bear with me. All right. So here is, here is something from 2011. Right? I love this. And this, was, uh, this is one of the ones, that, one of the examples we share with, the, uh, the, with our clients. But uh, first, I had a great quote said, My opinion doesn't decide what a good trading opportunity is. My rules do. That was a great quote by my mentor. Jason Stapleton, right? My opinion doesn't decide what a good trading opportunity is. My rules do. And then I, I would read this each and every day. Each and every day I'd read this. 
Um, it says trading is my business and I will always conduct my approach to the market in a professional manner. I have written this plan for a reason and in order to succeed, I need to follow it. If not, I will fall into the 95% of traders that fail. Success is available to everyone, so why should I settle for being average? So each and every day, I got off to a positive start, right? Brainwashing myself with positivity. I am a winner, why? Because I have to be, it's just the way I am. And I have GMS, which at the time it's, it stood for uh, get money season. It was something that uh, me and who I thought was gonna be my trading partner at the time was something that we would say, because he, he knew I was a big sports nerd, so you know, one day he came into my room. Um, we were in this. We, we had like a good trading week or something. He's like, he said, "Hey man, you know what season it is?" And I'm like, "What are you talking about? Like NBA's over, football hasn't started yet. It's, it's baseball season." He said, "Nah, it's get money season." He said, "Get ready for game day and stuff like that." And he got me all fired up and we like chest bumped and butt slapped. You know all the all the manly locker room stuff that we do. And I was like, "Yeah, get money season." And funny story, I actually started writing my 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 trading plan out. Um, like a like a season where I had my preseason where I would focus on education and then like and and demo trading and I would go into my regular season which would be like a couple months of actually trading and it was it was pretty cool I set it up like a sport but here's what I would read to myself each and every day I would say I am a professional trader I read this out loud I am a professional trader that uses various techniques to observe and maneuver around the markets I have no bullish or bearish bias when analyzing the market nor do I base any of my trades off of a fundamental approach. I simply follow my rules of technical analysis. I am aware that I have no control over the market and that it will do what it wants to do when it wants to do it. My job is to put myself in the best position available to maximize my profits and minimize my drawdowns while the market is in action. In order to reach my goals, I must eliminate all emotions from my trading. To achieve this, I will use a very specific set of rules. As long as I follow my rules of engagement, I will never enter a bad trade. Bad being defined as a trade in which I break my rules. I understand that losing is part of the business and I accept losses for what they are. If I lose a trade, I know that it has nothing to do with my trading strategy or myself personally. Some systems can lose 70% of the time and still be profitable as long as I continue to follow my rules and take every opportunity, I will end up on the profitable side. Lastly, I truly believe that I deserve to be successful. I have been involved in the Forex market since September 2009, and I have taken a professional training course for six months. With the experience, knowledge, hard work, and most importantly, discipline put into mastering my craft, I feel that I must be successful and that I deserve to be. Why do I trade? I trade because it's a way for me to achieve financial freedom Becoming a professional currency trader is the first step through the door of opportunities. If done correctly, I can use this skill of mine to open up my own business that trades and manages other people's money as well as my own. I also have a genuine interest and love for trading and investing. Seeing how it has been my lifelong goal to become an entrepreneur, I see becoming a professional currency trader as a way to do so while doing something I love at the same time. However, Although it's fun, I must always understand that trading is my business and I am in business to make profit. I don't dream big, I think big and turn those thoughts into goals. I then turn those goals into achievements and those achievements plant the seeds to my new thoughts. I believe that people only fail because they give up before they succeed. There's no telling where I can go with this business as long as I don't give up. So let's find out how far this path leads. Every day, get, got me in the zone. You guys feel like you're in the zone right now? That's how I would feel every day. 